Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing and in today's video I want to show you how you can create some interesting hover effects like this one where the color changes and then these ones as well where I'm hovering over these items and this color is changes. It's changes. It's pretty easy to set these up in Wix Studio so let me show you how to do it. So if I go in here to the editor, my Wix Studio editor, so I have this section here. Um, and I have a uh, animation and effect enabled on the uh, section background, this, this section. So that's the first thing is you select the element you want. So in this case, it's the section. And then I have animations and effects. So I have hover, click, and scroll. And that's because on sections, you don't have as many options as you will on other elements, which you'll see when we do the section below. But um, if I was going to uh, change this animation, um, then I can I can adjust it. So um, here I have the color and then I just go to change animation and then I go to adjust animation and I can set how long it takes for the hover to show up if there's any delay and uh, if it's easing in and out or just easing in and out or if it's linear if there's nothing like that going on and the fill color. So right now it goes to blue but let's say that I wanted to change it to green um, then I can preview what this looks like when I hover over it and that's what it will look like in real time. So that's how you set it up. You just put in the color, the duration, the delay, and if it eases in and out, the easing. Um, and then when I preview this section here in real time, if I hover over it, then it's going to show the color there. And because there's such a delay that I have, it takes a second for it to show up and for it to go away. You could make this go much faster if you just change that setting to be uh, less time. So let's take it down a whole second. Let's preview it. So it gets to that color much faster and it goes out much faster. Let's actually do 1.5 seconds. And again, much faster and faster. So if I click preview here, it gets there faster and it goes out faster. Okay, now let's do the other section here, the one you see here. So because in this section, I am at, I have the element on the uh, item itself. So if I have my layers panel over here, that's where the hover is set. And you can see there's a lot more options here. So there's entrance, hover, click, scroll, loop, and mouse effects that you could add to this particular element, this item within this repeater. So I have a hover uh, <laughs> color right here. So I'm going to change the animation. And because this is an item, there's other options too. So instead of doing color, I could do expand or shrink or move. Or rotate but I want it to be color so um, I have it setting it to itself um, to the, the self on the item and um, on hover it's starting the animation so then I just go into the adjust animation like I did before and I get the same exact settings here the fill color the duration and the, 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 the delay ease in and out um, so if I wanted to change this one to green as well to kind of match that other one then I just click preview and we can see how that looks. So I kind of like that they're both green actually. Uh, sections green here, then you hover over here and it's green. And so now we're getting that hover effect um, per item. And the cool thing is, is since this one's a repeater, you know, all these items have the same hover effect. So I just had to set it once and now all the items will follow suit. Whereas this one's a section, it's just the background. Um, it just does the whole entire sec section. This one is the, the item. Uh, at the item level. So that's how you add that effect. There's other effects you could add, of course, like entrances and what happens when people click or scroll or looping effects or mouse effects that um, I won't cover in this video, but they, they are really powerful and pretty easy to set up uh, and just give your website that much more uh, pop and, and ability to stand out if you add some of these, these things to your site. So, um, so yeah, you can do it on lots of different elements. So this was a section, these were items, but you can do it on buttons, you can do it on text elements. And if you click in the element and then you come over to this lightning bolt, you'll see what options you have as soon as you click in um, to those different effects. And then if you ever wanted to turn it off, you just go back to none, or you go into the animation you have and you just remove it. So if I added this one, um, then I don't, and I don't like it. Well, actually, let's see what that looks like. So then it goes up, which is kind of interesting when I hover over that. Um, 
then I'm going to just remove this, let's say, if I don't want it. And then it will go away. So now it'll just turn green instead of that text going up. Okay, well, I hope that helps uh, for setting up those hover uh, animations, adding color. I really like that one. It's a pretty basic one, but it's pretty cool. And there's some other cool ones you can explore as well. So that's what I have for today's video, and I will see you in the next video.